so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a detailed reading for September 15th to the 30th. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to look at general energy first. When I say general, this is like random things that come up. Then we're going to look at love. And then at the end, we're going to look at career. If you want to look at specific subjects, you can, of course, skip ahead. So feel free to do so. And let's see what's going on, Aries. Okay. And oh, yeah, if you want a personal, check the description. If you want to see future readings, subscribe. And now let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, Aries. So right off the bat, matters of the heart is like the first card that came up and it like flipped out, as you guys can see. And for a lot of you, it's more so like kind of questioning where your heart space is at. It's like, you know that you really, really care about someone um, for my people who are with someone. You know, you really care about them, but there's things that you don't really care about that come with the connection or that come as a package deal with this individual, whether it's their family, the person they may have children with, if they have children, um, characteristics that this person may have habits, um, things that they may do that you, you would rather do without. And what's happening during this time frame is more so questioning whether or not the things that you could do without are worth like keeping this relationship together? Like, is it worth putting up with the things that you don't want to deal with for the sake of the relationship? And that that's a space where you guys are going to kind of, um, that's a, that's a moment that you guys are going to have during this time frame. Excuse me. Um, beyond just love though, it's like, you really do care about people around you, but you could be realizing like how caring, and trying to be supportive of people like kind of backfires in a sense where you don't get the same reciprocation. Okay. Or people think they can take advantage of you because you are someone who's like nice or someone who like when you're not pushed to that point, you can take a lot of BS. Um, also during this time frame. I see you guys like coming into a realization of your personal power when it comes to being able to like turn a messed up situation that you guys may have gotten yourself into, into something that works for you or at least trying to, okay. There may be something that you guys are also specifically trying to bring forth, whether this is like new money, um, a new relationship, moving, um, this is like getting moving, like basically a fire being lit under your behind that basically makes it for you to kind of like get motivated and get moving on things. You guys are also going to have to address like your, your need to kind of like attach yourself to certain jobs or people or relationships just out of comfortability especially with the garden and the gate card here what's going on with my aries love life in the second half okay we got deception that flipped out as well so somebody let me say this this doesn't have to be just limited to like cheating but somebody's not being upfront. somebody's not being real and you're picking it up you feel like something's weird about your person after you may have like reconciled with them. Whether that was in the first half of September or in the second half. Like if you and your person were on a brief break and you know you guys are going to talk again. When you guys do talk again, you may notice something's weird about them. Like they're acting different. Some of you guys are currently dating someone and you're noticing that they're acting shady or they may be dealing with people on the side. Um, what I will say is things will be revealed about that very soon, whether that's you taking, you know, the liberty to go through this person's phone or spirit showing you different things on, you know, their own. Mm. 
Let me clarify. What's going on with my Aries love life for the second half of September? Yeah, so some of you will be, again, if you stop talking to someone briefly, you will be speaking to them again. But there may be a slight pettiness initially, like both of you guys acting as if you're not really pressed to get back into the relationship or not just getting back on good terms in first speaking to each other. This is like things still being awkward, questions still slightly not being answered, and either you or this person or both of you guys having questions for the other individual. Um, and yeah, it, it may, the passion may get rekindled, and then right after that, it's like just very up and down, especially if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Or you're in a connection that really does need to change in terms of the dynamic. A lot of you are realizing you just want more. Like you want more. You you guys may want like marriage or children if you don't have them now. Um, or just a love that's like a soulmate or someone you really connect to. But you guys could be like subconsciously self-sabotaging when it comes to love and you will realize that throughout this month but um okay let's look at finances and career what's going on with my aries finances and career during the second half of september yeah some of you are disappointed that you could have done more this month um there may have been a lack of focus and a lot of you will be kind of going into like this overdrive when it comes to like Okay, I can do this, 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 and this so I can get back on top of um, the month. Especially if this is um, like centered around certain goals that you would like to accomplish soon. Or if you're like self-employed, this is realizing, yeah, I need to get on top of my stuff. Um, you may be feeling slightly stressed out because there may be a lot of stuff that you're running around trying to do. Um what I will say is you guys also need to make sure you're not just spending money impulsively. Um, this is making purchases or buying things without really thinking about, dang, how can I, like, not thinking about the long term, basically. Not thinking about if you're going to need that money in the future. Not thinking about... how that will affect you. Um, if you are going through some financial issues now, this is you trying to overcome them as well after being pretty much in a space where you feel like you're always having to like shell out money and not having enough for self or for the things that you want. So that may trigger you to kind of think about, okay, what am I, what am I going to do in the long term to fix my financial situation? What I will say is don't let anxiety sidetrack you in the second half or overthinking. But this is what I see, Aries. I hope that you did take something from this reading. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe. Any information you need to book a personal will be listed below and I will see you in the next one.